Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the February-March um, 2015 um, IGCSE ICT Paper 3.1 and um, in the last video, we ended on step number 11 and uh, rather 12 and we're supposed to start with step number 13 in this video and that is to do with editing style sheet. Okay, so you will edit a style sheet which will be attached to this web page. So uh, use the most efficient methods to create and edit the styles and all color codes must be in six digit hexadecimal form and so make sure your style sheet contains no HTML okay so step number 13 um, using a suitable software package open the style sheet m1531.css uh, okay so I'm going to um, go to file then open and like I said I'm using um, uh, front page so I'll open it with front page okay so that's the style sheet there click on open and this is the existing text that is there you can examine it to find out if there are any errors um, I don't th uh, think there's any error um, so far um, border that solid and um, it should be able to work out perfectly this one unless otherwise um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll come back when I when I when we try to run it and it doesn't work out Okay, but for the sake of time, I think it should be able to work out. So um, the next thing that we we are, we are supposed to do is to um, where are we okay. So save this style sheet. Um, so we've opened the style sheet. So we need to save this style sheet with um, m15 underscore m1531 underscore followed by your candidate number. So let's go ahead and save it like that. So go to file, save as. Please don't just click on save, otherwise you replace the file that is already existing. And then and just add your candidate number at the end. And save it as a CS as file. Next, we need to, um, um, on um, step 14, add to your style sheet a style to define the background color of the page with these hexadecimal um, color components okay so what you should know about this is that um, you are following let me just put that um, you are following the RGB um, that is the that is the um, that is the um, the hexadecimal color code okay so you have two values that stand for R which is the red in this case is a2 and you have two values which stand for green and this is a8 and then b which is um, uh, 6e now usually Cambridge will um, rearrange these just to confuse you I've been confused before as well <laughs> you're not alone so um, the best thing that you can do is just to list RGB and then um, let R represent red and G green and blue and that and then you can each value has two digits and that represents that okay so don't 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 um don't confuse this so i'll cancel this and i'll come back here so we're going to create um the background color we're told of the page that it should have these decimal values so if we come back here now the property that influences the background color in a style sheet is um, called body and so you're going to put um uh, for the body you're going to set the background now guys you must know it's supposed to be background hyphen and not underscore okay so it's supposed to be background hyphen and then color and color is supposed to be just with r and not with u r like that because in some countries they understand that um, um you write color um with a u there but um, this must be the american version or the american way of writing color and it should just be s o l o r okay and make sure that you define it with the full colony and there then you define it with the hashtag now the hashtag shows that what follows is a hexadecimal value um, that you want to define so in this case let's go back and check so if we follow the same procedure rgb r is red so it's a and g is a8 so it's supposed to be a2 a8 and 6e so let's go ahead and put that so it's supposed to be um, a2 a8 and 6e okay and 
you've defined the background color for this style sheet and um, it should be perfect fine so the other thing that you should take note is that when you are just typing on your own I know some of you you've got um, some software that you may use um, that may um, be able to do this um, of course we can use the software as well to define the, the styles um, but it's not necessary we can go ahead and type and this makes us uh, in control like we know exactly what we are doing okay so that we've defined the body step 15 set styles um, H1 and H2 so that the text displayed is center aligned and the font displayed is first choice um, I don't know uh, Lucida Grand and second choice is supposed to be Lucida um, Sans Unicode and third choice is supposed to be the browser's default Sans serif font okay so let's go ahead and first of all deal with the text alignment and then we can come back to the font family um, that we need them okay so let's go um, so we are setting properties for h1 comma h2 okay now we can set them because they have the same properties we can set them in one line and this is why we're typing like that so let's start with um, um, text um, align okay so text align okay it's supposed to be center again the center is supposed to be typed uh, the American way because um, I know some people you type center like that but for style sheets that won't work out so center must be typed like that okay so that is center and then the next thing that you're supposed to do is to set the property for the font um, for the font family okay so the, for the font family now you need to enclose the fonts in um, in quotes okay so it's supposed to be lucida grant okay then separate it with a comma that means if this one is not available would you kindly check if there is um lucida um sans um sans let me just supposed to be lucida sans unicode okay if this one is not available then the browser's um, sans serif default, uh, the default browser's <laughs> sans serif font. <laughs> okay, so what you do is that you just type at the end there, you just type sans. Okay, um, this one should not even be enclosed in that, so it's sans serif font. Okay, now then you can go ahead and close that. So, what this means, let me just take time to explain this. Um, the font family is that um, you're looking for this particular when you put something in court it means you're looking for the exact uh, match okay so you're looking for exact lucid grand and when you put this one also in court you're saying I I want the exact thing okay it shouldn't be different if something that looks like this so <laughs> that appears to be like this um, but I want something that is just exact okay but when you don't put it in court and this is why it can put it can be any sans serif um, 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 font okay because it's not entirely specified some people would prefer having a certain uh, sans serif font as their default font others would have Arial as their default font others who have comic sans some than the different font different people with different computers have different fonts as their default sans serif font so we just say hey can you just specify um i mean whichever sans serif font that the user is using we are cool with that okay so that is that so it goes through this and i'm um, just verified that uh, everything has been entered correctly and um so done with step 15 um, we go to step 16 set style h1 to have a height of 24 pixels and a color with a green component of 1f and no other color component now you guys you need to take note also that um, we initially set the h1 and h2 uh, in the same line so some of them will be thinking but why can't I just add the font size in the same line remember this um, line 3 defines properties for two things for h1 and h2 you only define properties for um, attributes um, that have got the same um, values in the same line okay so you cannot define um, um, h1 and h2 uh, if they've got different values inside your attributes inside here uh, on in the same line you can't do that okay so let's go ahead and define h1 so you say h1 since these are the unique properties of h1 so h1 is supposed to be a height of 24 pixels now 
for a height this refers to just the font size okay so you just say font size equal to 24 uh, pixels and the color code is supposed to be just color and then it's supposed to be now don't say background color <laughs> Because some of you may begin to think now this is where I said the background color. No, this is not the background color. This is the foreground color because it is the color of the text. Okay, so let's go ahead with font size. So just type font size and set it to 24 pixels. Okay, and next you need to set the color now. The color, okay, the color is supposed to, don't forget the hashtag and now set the color. We're told that only the green component is supposed to be. F, one F and then all these other components are supposed to be zero now remember it is ARA GB ARA which is red is zero zero and G is supposed to be one F and blue is supposed to be zero zero okay and with that done then you can close that okay next step step 17 set style H2 to have a height of 16 pixels and a color with a blue component of 4C and no other color components. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that as well. So um, let's set H2, um, font size. Um, the other thing that you guys that you can do um, is you don't need to type this, just copy this and paste it down there and change this to H2. You can save a lot of time by doing that and change this to 16 pixels and change this one. We are told that um, the um, red component is supposed to be zero and the blue component was supposed to be zero and the last one should have been 4C if I'm not mistaken. Let me just verify. Yeah, it's supposed to be 4C. Okay, so 4C. And there you go. That is done. Uh, next step, step 18. Add your name, center number and candidate number to the bottom of your style sheet as a comment. Okay, so let's put a comment. So the way you insert a comment in... Um, styles or in HTML is um, put um, forward slash asterisk and then your name Chikasa Evans then ZM let me just put comma ZM 556 uh, comma 0001 and then the way you close it the, uh, you close the comment just put star and then forward slash again and you would have closed um, the comment okay so that should be fine um, next step um, save um add your name okay that's the step 18. so step 19 says save and print your style sheet okay so let's save it um and then you go ahead and print it uh, my printer is ready um i don't think i should print it <laughs> okay for the sake of printing let me just print it <laughs> okay so um next one is um step 20 attach your style sheet to the web page saved in step 12 okay so the web page is supposed to be why am i going here <laughs> the web page is this one uh this one rather and we need to attach the style sheet so just go to file rather not file um go to format and style sheet links and then add and then browse to where um your um folder that you're working on is on the desktop mine and then this is the style sheet and once you select it, it should appear here and click okay and you should see the style um, has been applied and this looks beautiful um, I love the choice of colors and this guy who was designing this initially is very good you can see the color of the grass and everything looks perfectly fine okay this is good next we are going to perform step um, that was step 20 so step 21 says save your web page open this in a web um, page uh, the, this web page in a web browser and place screenshots of this web browser in your evidence document okay so the catching part is this of this web browser so it should show that it's coming out actually from a web browser so I'm going to go to file then go to um, save then file again and um, preview browser and there you go in the browser it looks good so I'm going to get a screenshot of this it should look like it's coming from the browser that should be fine and just get it from there and paste it in your evidence document so this was step number is just verify this is step number 21 oops okay let's go here step 21 and paste it there um, that looks good um, next step step 21 place a copy of the HTML source code in um, step that's step 22 rather in your evidence document okay so let's go back here go to code um, 
control C, uh, control A, that is highlight, control C, that is copy, and um, come back here. Um, let's go to step, let me just go to the next page. This is step 22, control V, which is paste. All right, so that marks the end of um, the um, HTML uh, web authoring section. Um, in the next section, we're going to start looking at um, data analysis. And um, so this video will end here, and I'll continue in the next uh, video to look at data analysis. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video shortly.